hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe my name is nika and my youtube channel is i am nika guys if in this video i'm going to be showing you how i do my lines i'm going to be explaining step by step what i'm doing and how i'm doing it so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't like the video give it as many likes as possible and also hit the notification bell see you in the video so guys here i took some oil and um, i applied it on my sectioned line so i'm applying oil so that it will be easy to braid and also so that it can give a defined line so i apply some oil i rub it in to the skin and also i rub it down on the hair I took a, a old used toothbrush and I brushed down. So the reason I'm brushing it down is because I want it to be more defined and also so that I can see where the line is not straight and I will straighten it with my jelly comb. So as you can see, I saw that there was a part that wasn't straight and I went in with my the with my jelly comb and I sectioned it well so I had to I had no idea what I wanted to braid well I was starting to divide my hair to section my hair so I went in and sectioned my hair into different parts because I was thinking of doing the rub, rubber band style the one that you put small small rubber bands on different section of the hair and then you do a line on top of it so that the line will have um, can i say different two sections while it is ready it looks more cute that way so i was thinking of that but also i was thinking like oh my god it will take me a lot of time to do this hair so on the back of my mind i was like i need I need to get another style. So I had to do a style because I had to run some errands this with a good hairstyle. And um, I wasn't feeling comfortable going with my hair out because also the weather was good, but also you have to look like you, you have to look more presentable. And uh, I felt like when I do my hair, I will look more presentable. So I... I thought of another idea so I get I got rid of the rubber band and I did a line. At this time guys, I won't lie to you, I'm I'm not I'm still not settled on what to do on my hair. But lucky for us guys, I woke up early this day because I knew I had to do a style on my hair. And being my own hairstylist, you have to come up with the ideas, you have to go searching so i had seen some interesting ideas on pinterest and um i was weighing which one will be the fastest and uh, which one will be not too hard to do so i was trying here i am trying the second idea now so the second idea was some back lines but it was um i i can call them curved lines but um i did this line on the right side but when i do it on the right side it will be hard for me to do the other to do the curved lines going to the left side so i did this first line very well it was looking good but um as you will see i will have to undo this line and do it on my left side that part of the video i didn't record because i went to use the mirror so that i can be able to divide it to divide my hair better because here i'm using the front camera of my phone and it's hard to section while you're using the camera of your phone and um yeah so i finished the line but <laughs> i had to undo it because the style was not coming the way I wanted to when how I wanted to eat to pop. So 
as my own hairstylist again i had to undo and do it again so i finished it well as you can see the line was good the line was perfect but who am i guys i had to make it look way more perfect okay so i finished it very well and guys i have to comment on this my hair has grown your girl has grown this hair for only we can call it one and a half years and it looks this healthy and it's this long and it has no chemicals on it it's my natural hair i feel good about it so guys as you can see i went and and then and i undid the hair the the line that i had done and i did this this line as you can see the one that is over my forehead so i wanted the lines to look this way so i started off from the wrong side so i redid them but the 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 line that i had done is now on my left side and this one the one that is over my forehead is on the right side but it's starting from the left side hope you get it so the reason i did this is because i am doing this type of the line that is starting from my left to the right it's hard for me because my strong hand when i'm braiding it's my left hand and while i can't I'm not able to do that line from the right side to the left side. So I hope you get it, guys. So here, as you can see in the video, I'm doing the line that is going backwards. So I'm in the second last line here in the video. So it's going on well, but it's pretty tiresome doing lines on your hair. So the reason I'm bending and standing and bending again and standing again it's because it's tiresome and uh, I have to do that it's like taking a break but still you're doing it that's how I do when I feel tired I just bend a little bit and my hand the numbness on my hands it goes away so that's how I deal with it um um the sectioning was good <laughs> and and I'm I'm so proud of this style because this is the first time I'm doing it and I nailed it you guys nailed it guys if you want to try this type of styles you can try them they look having your natural hair out sometimes it's you know fun and good so um I'm zoning out here in this video. <laughs> Look at me just zubaying. I know my thoughts were so far. I can't tell by how I look. Anyway, I am on my last line. So, how I do these lines is I divide the hair into two. The hair that is already divided into a line i divided it into two sections so the first section i deal with it i braid it until i reach where my hand is and then i will take the other section and i go with it to the end but it's not always i divide it to section sometimes it's three sometimes it's four it depends with um how thick the hair that i'm braiding is and also how big the section is and also the lines that i'm doing are they big lines or small lines it just depends okay with the situations so here i'm doing that line as you can see i took the rest of the hair and uh, i joined it in and i continued now braiding so i forgot to talk <laughs> while i was doing this video uh, but now i'm doing the voiceover and luckily <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm feeling while well, I'm doing the voiceover, I'm feeling so comfortable because it's easy for me to talk and then to 
delete the voice over if I don't like it and to redo it but while you talk in the video that audio will be the only audio that you're going to use okay I love this one anyway I'm done with the line so as I told you I had to run some errands and also I have to do some chores in the house so I will apply some gel on my baby hairs and I will do some I will style them using my old toothbrush okay guys you can improvise and use your old toothbrush to be doing your gel if you don't have the other brush okay don't have the excuse oh i don't have a brush to do my gel i won't do my gel improvise improvise i use my old toothbrush um instead of throwing it away <laughs> i use it and it does a perfect job you will see at the end of this video you will see how my baby hairs will be slaying i'm telling you they slay okay i'm 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 about to be done with this with these lines and i'm so happy i'm so happy that i'm done you know it's like it's a relief to be done doing the hair i'm like yeah inside of me i'm like yay i'm done but i can't i can't show like that my inside is like that okay if you only if you are your own hairstylist you know what i'm saying the feeling of being done or the feeling of finishing a style it you feel so happy when you're done doing the hair or even when, when you're done doing another person's hair you feel so good you feel a relief that they won't have to go home <laughs> with their hair half done so here i'm doing a little back ponytail so that it will hold up those small small lines and also that's to that's another way to put some curls on your you know on your small on your lines like you see those two lines that are left there behind if you want them to have some curls you just do some braids apply some oil and then you let them set for some time so i went in with my gel i'm using my finger to tap tap where my baby hairs are I apply the gel and then I will go in with my old toothbrush to put the styles to style my baby hairs how I want them to be. So here I am going to where every part where the baby hairs are. I tap tap with a little bit too of gel. I, I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to use a little bit. And then I go in with my old toothbrush and I make the magic hop um okay but also guys still i can't use the front camera to do my gel because i want it to come out perfect so i had to pause the video again and go and do my baby hairs behind the camera but if you want to see a tutorial on how to do your baby hairs using your old toothbrush like this video and comment as you can see the baby hairs are slaying wait until they have um can we call dried do they dry on the skin no wait until they are set <laughs> because when you i'm putting this scarf on top because it they get can we say they get stuck on <laughs> okay i don't have the name to on what they do but it's like the gel it dries and when it dries on the hair when it is set it gives you a defined mini baby hair look at that guys that's how my baby hairs came out as you can see and uh it looks so awesome here i am showing you my feet of the day how i look i'm so happy with myself i look so good guys as i'm showing you how the hair looks so thank you for enjoying the video bye guys see you in my next video